Namaste. Namaste. And I welcome you on this beautiful day to our share, Easy Does It Chair class. I'm so very pleased that you've chosen to carve out a little bit of time to give yourself the gift of your practice today. But remember that easy does it may be a little misleading because when we use the chair and the floor properly, it keeps our body in alignment in a way that when we're without the chair, it doesn't happen. So you might find a little restriction. Maybe it's difficult for you at some point. Please, if you need to pause, modify, and then when you're ready, join us once again. Okay, so let's come into our starting squared off position that we move in and out of throughout our practice. The first thing you wanna do is move back on your chair and rock side to side so that the sits bones at the base of your body can anchor into the chair, thus down into the earth. Put your feet in line with your hips and then your knees just above your ankles. Make sure that the spine is growing long and tall up into the sky. Your heart center is open both front and back. You have a nice relaxed neck, face, hands are soft. Please close your eyes and now let all your breath go. When you're empty, draw a very deep inhale through your nose. Exhaling with ha. Ah. Again, deep, deep breath. And release ha. Ah. Let your chin come toward your chest. Let the weight of your head draw your body forward as you bow down. Becoming very relaxed here, breathing through at your own rate. Calming down, slowing down. Try not to hold your head at all. Just let it be heavy like a ripe tomato on a vine. As together we breathe in and out. Breathing in. Exhale, relaxing with Oh. Now push your hands deep into your legs. Breathe your face forward and let the crown of your head lift you up as you push your hands down to support you. And now exhale, letting all the breath out. Breathing comfortably now, consciously, in and out through your nose. Make sure that your feet are plugged into the earth and that your knees are not slowly going sideways, rolling your feet. Keep the four corners of your feet plugged deep into the earth. That then ignites the legs and keeps them active throughout practice. Following your breath consciously, you begin to encourage the breath to be long, slow, deep, but you never force your breath or choke up on the breath. You just let it flow with ease in and out through your nose. With every inhale, you're drawing in prana, the life force. With every exhale, you are letting go of anything in your life that does not serve you. Maybe it's tension or stress, a little anxiety, maybe depression. Perhaps you have a sense of loss or lack or loneliness. All of that stuff serves no purpose in your life. It just clogs up the work, wherever it is in your body, mind, emotion, and then goodness has nowhere to go. So on this day, wherever you are, let every single inhale that you take bring goodness into every single part of who you are and let the exhale magnetize to itself any garbage that no longer serves you. So the more you can get rid of, the more space you create and the more space you create, the more goodness can flow into you. 
breathing in goodness, let go on, let go of anything that is not good. Over and over and over again. And through this beautiful process, you begin to feel a deep sense of calm washing over you, around you, through you, and into you. You feel your scalp relax along with your forehead. You relax your eyes, cheekbones, jawbones, and ears. You soften your nose, all parts of your mouth, your chin, neck, and throat. Deep softness flows through your spine from the top all the way down to the bottom. Oh. You relax your shoulders, shoulder blades, collarbone, armpits. Deep softness saturates your arms, hands, fingers, and thumbs. You relax your upper chest, ribs, belly, pelvis, hips. You feel this deep sense of release moving through your legs, drenching your feet and every toe. Calming down, slowing down. You begin to feel your heart opening as wide as the sky with a sense of gratitude to just be on your mat today to practice open and available to whatever comes, no preconceived notions as to what those benefits might be. Rather, you're as innocent as a child, just like a blank ca canvas, ready and willing to surrender right here, right now. But at the same time, staying in your breath, and let the beauty of your breath flow you up and into your edge, but never to pain. As together we draw our hands into prayer pose, thumbs touch the heart, fingers extend toward one another as we lift our lids and greet with namaste, namaste. And once again, I welcome you. Okay, so staying in our squared off starting position, just place your hands on your legs with the palms down. Make sure that the knees are securely over your ankles as you bring the hands forward, sweeping them over the knees and then turn them so that the palms face forward, thumbs stretch way out to the side, Notice that we're sitting tall. We're not leaning over toward the hands, but you want your gaze to look toward the thumbs. And now keeping the other fingers stretched toward your legs, we're gonna isometrically move each finger by itself. So concentrate, let your breath go. Breathe in and lift the index finger up to touch the thumb, stretching the other fingers down toward your leg. Exhale, spreading the hands wide. Breathing in, lifting the middle finger up, up, up. Exhale, spreading your hands wide. Inhale, ring finger lifts up. Exhale, spreading your hands wide. Inhale, baby finger comes up. Exhale, stretch your hands. Now breathe both hands forward. Lift them up to the sky. Look straight ahead. Turn your palms. Shoulders are down. Hands on to your thighs. Belly forward. Chest forward. Head down. All the breath is out. Push your hands down. Breathe your face forward. Let the crown of your head lift you. Hands to the shoulders, to the sky. Turn your palms. Exhale. Hands down. Belly down. Chest down. Head down. Tuck your chin in. Inhale, face forward, rising up, lifting up, hands to the shoulders, to the sky, turn your palms, look up, stretch up, wiggle your fingers, 
Stretching each one, big movement. Let the hands float to your thighs. Let your breath go and tuck your chin deep into your chest. Eyes are now closed. Taking a deep inhale, lift your eyebrows. Now your eyes, lift your nose and chin, look way up, stretch the front of your neck, relaxing the back of your neck. Exhale, chin down, tucking in, looking toward the belly button. All the breath is out. Inhale, eyes up, nose, lips, lift your chin, looking up, stretch. Exhale, tucking the chin in. Now breathe in and roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Open your eyes and look way up at the sky. Stretch, 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 close your eyes. Exhale, head rolls to the chest at center. Breathe in, left ear, left shoulder, eyes open wide. Take the gaze up, 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 up. Close your eyes, exhale, head back to center. Breathe in, bring your head up to neutral. Relax your breath. And now at your own pace, just drop your head from side to side. This can be a very small movement. We're just loosening up your neck. And remember, you don't have that many muscles in the neck. The head is heavy. Oftentimes we have neck and shoulder soreness. So we gotta be careful how we move the head. Come back to center and at your own pace, just turn the head now side to side. Just easy. Good. And stopping back at center, drop your chin down. And we're gonna make circles with the chin, do a little facial yoga. Make some nice big circles. I made a joke, but you know, this is really important for us is to move all parts of our face. Because like the rest of the body, it yearns for movement and activity to stay young and vital. Go the other way. Remember, we're creating space, getting rid of anything that's locked up, choked up, tight, uncomfortable. Good. And relax your chin. And now we're going to rub the hands briskly, creating lots of heat. Then you're going to cup your hands and put them over your ears and rub your hands quickly and see if you can hear the alm inside your head. Close your eyes. Go. And relax, let's do it again. Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Creating nice heat, bringing energy into the ears. Cup your hands, close your eyes. Chant Om now to yourself and listen to it in your head. Rub your ears. Good, releasing, take the index and thumbs right to the very top of your ear where it connects to your head, pinch there, pinch the cartilage, and then pull it away from your head and release. Go back in a little bit away from where you were, pinch and pull. Slowly go around the whole edge of your ear. And what we're doing is stimulating the nadis, which are the same as meridians, their energy paths through the body. And they send, messages of good tidings and grace to all the systems of the body, whether it is digestion, elimination, cardiovascular, endocrine, whatever it is, we want to just massage the body through the nerves that are stimulated from this process in our ears. Good. And now bringing your hands down, Let's make some circles with the eyes at your own pace. Going one direction. Pause, go the other way. Pause, and now take your eyes up, down, up, down, up, down, center. Eyes right, now left. Right, left, right, left, center. Upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left, center. 
upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left, upper right, lower left, center. Now, if you have glasses on, just take them off. And we're gonna do the same thing again, creating kinetic heat in the hands. So go ahead and rub, 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 rub. When they feel nice and warm, you're gonna cup, take the palms over the eyes, drape the fingers in your hair, and just draw in that soothing energy to relax your beautiful eyes. We're so grateful for our head and all the senses that are in the head, located in the head, our ears for hearing, our mouth for taste, our eyes for sight, our nose for the sense of smell, and of course, all the skin on the whole body for touch. Let's do that again. Oh, that felt really good. Soothing. Go ahead, rub, 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 rub till it's nice, nice and hot and then cup them. Make sure it's the palms. You've got nice big chakras there, energy wheels. Put them over your eyes. Oh, and take them in. These better than any slices of cucumber you'll ever put on your eyes. Just bathing in the goodness and moving into gratitude for your sight, for your hearing, for your taste, your smell, your touch. Good, and then bringing your hands down to rest on your legs, let your breath go. Make sure your knees haven't gone crazy. Breathe in and lift your shoulders up to your ears, higher, higher, higher. Exhale, let them just flop down with ha. Again, breathing up, 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 tense, tense, tense. Exhale, let them drop. Ha. Bring them forward. Up, back now, down, reverse, go back now, up, forward and down, and back, up, forward and down, one shoulder, up, now the other. Come down and down, one shoulder, forward, now the other. Go back and back, up, up, down, down, front, front, back, 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 back, good. And now we're going to breathe the hands forward, turning the palms up, exhale, bend your elbows and touch your shoulders. Inhale, straighten the arms forward. Exhale, touch. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, touch. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, touch. Take the arms forward, take them out to the side. Breathe the arms up and turn your palms forward. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hands in line with the elbows. Inhale, bring them back up. Exhale, just to the height of the elbows. Inhale, up, fingers are touching. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lifting up. Turn your palms toward your head. Breathe in, stretch the arms out. Exhale, back to starting. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, up. Turn the palms. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lift up, keep the palms facing sideways. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, stretch. Bring your hands down, bring them into prayer pose, interlace your fingers, elbows together. Breathe through now while we make circles with the hands. Oh, good. Really move them, relaxing your wrists. Go the other way. Good. 
bringing your hands onto your knees. Please don't move your feet, but walk your hips forward toward the edge of your chair. Now drop the low back into the chair, concave the upper body and tuck your chin deep into your chest. All the breath is out. Drop your elbows onto your thighs, drop your head between your legs, breathe in and look forward. Coming up, arching your back, don't come up all the way. Exhale, head comes down, now bring your spine into the chair, concave the back. We're undulating the spine back and forth in a little mini sun and moon. Elbows down, breathe in, arch your back, eyes up, look way up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, head down, pulling back, all the breath is out. Elbows down, breathing in, rolling up, eyes up, lift all the way up, hands on your shoulders. And let's make circles now with the elbows and shoulders, making very big rotations to ease out any stress or tension. Oh, in the upper body, it feels so good to move the body. Good, go the other way now. Oh, beautiful. Again, one more time. Elbows are out now and let's just rock. Side to side, good. Nice and easy. Stopping at center, hands come back into prayer pose, interlace your fingers. Breathe in and lift the arms up by your ears. Exhale, rotate the palms to the sky. Inhale, pushing your feet down. Exhale and turn the body as much as you can to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, looking to the left. Breathe, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, arms out, hands are flexed. Stop, shoulder height, stay here, breathing in and out. Breathing in. Exhale, extend the fingers, bring your hands down, place them on the thighs. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, push them down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. Breathing up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, heels up. Turn the heels out. Exhale, heels down. Breathe through now as we turn the toes sideways. Lift onto the balls of your feet, turn the heels out, knees in, and finally turn the toes out, hands on your thighs, drop your chin into your chest, relax your breath, breathe your head down, roll your spine, arch the back, just like we did in Sun and Moon, but this time, as you exhale, stick out your tongue and shake your head with ah. ah, 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 ah. Ah, coming up, nice deep breath. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale, chin down, bring your head forward. Inhale, arching, eyebrows up, looking up. Exhale, stick out your tongue and shake your face with ah. Ah. Breathing in, coming up and turning the toes in. Exhale, knees out, heels in. Breathe naturally as you bring your feet in line with your hips. And we're going to walk our hips back in the chair. Bring our feet back so they're right underneath your knees. And then we're going to bow forward, reach down and pick up your heavy 10 pound weights. Now there's 10 pounds in each hand. So let them hang down here now as you gently roll up and let the arms hang straight from your shoulders, turning the palms forward, press your feet down, 
Now pull up on the buttocks, perineum, sphincter, and belly, just like a little tortoise pulling his head deep in his shell. Relax your breath out, relax your shoulders, relax your face. Breathe in, fire the muscles as you lift the hands up to touch the shoulders. Exhale, bring the hands down. Breathing in, lifting up, up, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Breathing in, lift. Exhale, lower, arms out to the side. Rotate the eyes of the elbows up. Breathe in and touch your shoulders. Exhale, open. Inhale, touch. Exhale, open. Breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Bend your elbows halfway, double inhale through your nose, double exhale through your mouth. Keep breathing in that manner and follow me. Stay open, stretch your arms out. And spin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reversing two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands down, shake them out. Inhale, touch your forehead. Exhale, lower. Inhale, touch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, touch. Exhale, lower. Flick your fingers up toward your wrist. Your wrists, push your feet down. Relax your shoulders, neck, face, breath out. Inhale, arms sideways, bring them forward. Lift them up, exhale down. We're going to the side, now to the front. Up and down, arms are straight and strong. Shoulders are soft. Hands are flicking, 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 breathing in, forward, up, now exhale, now breathe in, forward, up, release your breath, breathe in, forward, up and down and in, forward, up and down, good, making fists out of your hands, feet push down, pelvis active, shoulders soft, face soft, follow me, breath is out. Breathe the hands to the shoulders, side, shoulders forward, shoulders sky, shoulders down. Breathing in, side, forward, up, exhale, down, inhale to the side, now to the front, to the sky, exhale, down, inhale. The movement is sharp in each direction. Breathing in, forward, up and out and in, forward, up, and down, inhale to the side, now to the front, to the sky, exhale down, and last time, up and down, breathe your right arm out, up and over, stretching to the left, exhale, center, inhale, exhale, breathing in and out, and in, out, breathing in, out, inhale, out two more, breathe in and out and in and out. Good, hands on your thighs. Walk your feet, your hips forward on your chair. Now walk your feet over to the right. Place your two hands on the two sides of your chair back. Please breathe your crown up, stretching through the spine. Exhale, turn your hips, your belly button, solar plexus, heart center, Open your chest and shoulders. Look over the right shoulder. Relax your breath. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale, hands on your thighs. Walking the feet back to the front. Now walk them over to your right and place the hands on the sides of your chair back, push your feet down, breathe your crown up, stretching the spine, turn the whole body, exhale, looking over the right shoulder, your left shoulder. 
breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Hands on your thighs, walk your feet back to the front and walk your hips back in your chair to our basic squared off starting position. Now, if you have a block or two blocks, you can get them now. We're gonna use them to bring the floor up closer to us so that we don't strain at all in our hip opening stretches. If you don't have yoga blocks, I highly recommend you invest in them. They're not expensive. You can get them on Amazon, Target, Walmart. They're just everywhere these days and they're very affordable. You only need two. And you could probably get by with just one. If you don't have a block, you can use a folded blanket or a stack of books, whatever you have handy. Now, wiggle your left foot over to the left, letting the foot stop where the toes are facing toward the corner of your room. Then you're gonna turn the belly button to the space between your two legs, bring your block down and put your hands on your block. If you're okay, you can put your hands on the floor, drop your head down. Now don't let your knees go sideways, keep them over your ankles as we breathe in and out. Breathing in. And out, placing the right hand on the right thigh. Inhale and roll up, bringing the left foot up onto the chair. Push the foot and the leg together here. This is when your blocks can come in quite handy if your hips or knees are tight because you can actually stack them to create a little pedestal upon which to put your foot. You can even bring it down lower like so. And even if you need to, you can bring it all the way down here. Why you say would we bother? Because obviously your body is tight and doing a little bit is better than doing nothing. And as you practice consistently, you can build up to the point where perhaps one day you'll be all the way up on the chair. And if you're not, it doesn't matter. The point is that you are using the science of yoga to open the restrictions in your body. So now let's take the left hand over to the outside of the right knee. The right hand swings to the chair back as you breathe your crown up. Exhale and turn the body meticulously starting from the root, little by little to your right looking over the shoulder as we breathe in and out. Breathing in, exhale, turning back to the front, hinging from the hips, you bring your belly forward and you reach down toward the floor. And now's when you use your props again, because maybe this is just a little too much for your hips or your knee and your blocks bring the earth closer to you dropping your head letting the whole upper body be completely at ease because we want all the energy to go into the hip we don't want to draw focus away from that as we breathe in and out breathing in and out, placing your right hand on the right thigh. Inhale and come up. And now we're going to relax the breath. Take the ankle and invite the ankle up onto the supporting leg. If this feels fine, you can leave it here. If you feel like, oh, I, I'm not getting much of a stretch, pull your heel back into the root of the body. And then all of us are gonna just push this knee away, lean away and look away. Remember, you can have the leg still down on the blocks. It's not an issue. You go to where you need to go and then modify. As we breathe in 
and uh, and your whole environment is full of props that you can use. Be creative. Breathing in and out. And coming back to center now, we're going to hinge once again from the hips, meaning that we don't drop the shoulders and tuck your head in and think this is what we're doing. We're not. We're lifting the crown up, hinging from the hips, and then the body is folding forward like a piece of paper as you reach down for your blocks or for the floor. Drop your head down. We don't want tension in the neck or face. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in and out. Inhale, rolling up. Bring your foot down. And now we're going to wiggle our hips forward on our chair, placing the hands on the upper corners of your chair. Spread your toes and push your feet down. Breathe in and look up at the sky. Exhale, belly forward, chest forward, and you're going to lift your hips up. Try to stretch your legs. Don't overdo it. We're just starting to stretch the legs. Crown is down. Bring your hips down. Breathe in. Roll up and look up. Exhale. Fold forward. Head down. Hips up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. It feels really good. Hips down. Breathing in. Rolling up. Looking up. Stretch to the sky. Exhale, coming forward, lifting up, stretch. Inhale, hips down, rolling up, looking up at the sky. Exhale, down, hips up, and stretch. Inhale, hips down, rolling up, look up at the sky. This is the last one. Exhale. Body forward and down. Hips are up and raised as we stay here. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale, hips down, rolling up. Hands on your thighs. Walk your hips back in your chair to our starting position. Walk your right foot out to the side, toes facing the corner of your room. Turn the belly button to the space between your legs, hinging from the hips. Bring the body forward, hands down, head down. Don't let your knees and feet roll. Keep them plugged in. This is your chance to get creative with some kind of a prop if you need it. Breathing in. And, uh, and marvel at how the two sides of the body are not the same. They are unique unto themselves, and we just appreciate and honor that. Now placing the left hand on the left thigh, please breathe in, rolling up. Capture your foot and bring it up onto the chair, pushing the foot and the thigh together. Taking the right hand across to the outside of the left leg, Hand comes to the back of the chair, breathe the crown up, exhale and start to twist in that direction, looking over your shoulder and relax your breath. Breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale, turning forward, hinging. You're gonna reach down now. Remember to be kind to yourself. Don't strain. Use whatever props you need to make the posture reachable. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand to the left thigh, push down, breathe in and roll up. Capture the ankle and place it on top of the thigh. 
Remember, this could be fine for you, or maybe you need to keep your foot down on the block. If you want to go a little deeper, invite the heel into the base of your body, hold the top of the foot, push the knee down, lean away, and look away as we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Turning forward, now you're gonna dive forward. And again, using your props so that you can actually do the posture. This side of my body is way tighter. So I want to give myself the opportunity to get energy deep into this hip. So I need to come up a little higher, which is perfect. Breathing in and out breathing in and out inhale rolling up exhale bringing the foot down we're in our squared off starting position spread your toes push the four corners of your feet down and don't move your feet, but walk your hips forward toward the front of your chair. Hands come into prayer pose, lifting the elbows in line with the wrist. Let all your breath go as you pull up on the whole pelvic platform. Breathe in and stand straight up. Exhale, have a seat. Try not to look at your chair. It's there, it hasn't gone anywhere. Breathe in, rising up. Exhale, sitting down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hips back, chest forward, squatting. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, coming down. Stay here, breathing in and out. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands on your thighs. Close your eyes. And take a moment to notice how you feel. Notice how the energy has shifted now that you're standing up. Breathe. Open your eyes and step to the side of your chair, taking your chair forward, placing the seat away from your body. The back of the chair is toward you. And the two back legs are firmly pressing into your sticky mat to make sure that your chair is not going to slide around. Put your hands on your chair back and now walk your feet back comfortably and drop your head down. Now, mind you, I said comfortably. So perhaps for you today, you might find that this is as far as you can go. Or maybe you want to stay close to the chair and put your hands down here. Try to drop your head. We want to bring energy to the head, heart, and lungs. If you feel safe and comfortable walking your feet back, to any place here with the head down. If you can come into the full stretch, which is down dog prep. We want to pull the hips back further than the heels. Spread your toes, push them into the earth. Feel the legs straightening by the muscles pulling up to the bones. Arms are lengthening from your fingers to the shoulders, to the ribs, to the hips. Head is dropping down, eyes are gently closed as we breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, stretch your legs strong and straight. Exhale, bending your knees. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, 
Exhale, bend your knees, look at your chair and step your right foot forward by your chair leg. Wrap the left arm behind your waist. Lift up, turning to the left, looking over your shoulder. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Inhale, swing the left arm to the side and turn the palm up. Exhale, reach the arm over toward your chair. Breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise up and bring the hand down. Turn toward your chair and touch the middle of your chair back with your left hand. Right hand wraps around your back and you turn your body now to the right, looking over your shoulder, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stretch the arm back, 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 back. Exhale, bring the hand to your chair, bend the front knee and bring your left foot in line with the chair leg, bend your knee, right leg goes straight back, straighten your leg, take the right arm behind your back, turning your body, looking over the shoulder, legs are straight and strong, breathing in and out. Inhale, open your heart, relax your face. Exhale. Inhale, swing your arm back, turn the palm up. Exhale, reaching over toward your chair. Keep your body facing straight ahead of you, not toward your chair. Breathing in and out. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, now turn toward your chair, right hand to the center of the chair, left hand behind the waist. Keep moving in that direction as you wrap the arm behind your back, twisting to the left, looking to the left, breathing in and out. Push your heels down, legs are straight, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale, stretch the arm back, look back, and exhale, hand to your chair. Foot comes forward and you're gonna flip your chair seat toward you now. Hands are on the padded part of the chair and you drop your head. Now you can bring your arms down right here with your head down. This could be a great stretch for you right here. Or you can begin to walk back into down dog prep again, pulling the hips way back, stretching out of the fingers, the wrists, elbows, shoulders, pulling your hips way back to stretch your rib cage. Press your feet down, pulling the muscles up against the bones in your legs. As we inhale, head is dropping down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, bending your knees. Inhale, stretch your legs straight, straight, straight. Exhale, bending your knees. Inhale, stretch the legs straight. Stay here, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, upper body strength. We're gonna breathe forward, bringing the weight onto our hands. And you can stop right here, or you can flip your feet. You can drop your hips, lift your chest and look up. Exhale, flatten your feet and pull back into downward facing dog. Breathing in into the place of your choice, looking up at the sky. Exhale, 
pulling back all your breath is out. Inhale, coming forward, looking up at the sky, stay here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale, folding back. Inhale, knees come down to the floor. Hips come forward, lifting up, looking up, stretch. Exhale, folding back. All the breath is out. Inhale, knees down. Hips forward, looking up at the sky. Exhale, folding back. Inhale, knees down. Pointing your toes here, coming into neutral. Relax your breath and turn to one side. And now bring one hip down, one shoulder down, turning on to your back. Lining up your hips, ribs, and shoulders. Feet are flat on the floor with the knees up. Hands are gently touching the pelvic bones, elbows out to the side. Shoulders are soft in the earth. Take a breath. Exhale, drop your knees over to the right and look to the left. Looking up, inhale back to center. Exhale, knees left, look right. Look up, inhale, center. Exhale, knees right, look left. Look up, inhale, center. Exhale, knees go to your left, looking to the right. Inhale, back to center. Inhale. Exhale, drop your knees to the side, take your arms out, stretch your right arm above your head, bend the elbow, looking over to your left as we breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale. Looking up, stretching the right arm out, coming back to center. Nice deep breath. Exhale, both knees come over to the floor on your left. Looking to the right, right arm above your head, bend the elbow, looking over to your right as we breathe in and out. Inhale. Exhale, arms out to the side, looking up. Bring your knees back to center, draw them in, grab your shins, flex your feet, pull the knees in, elbows down, lift up, make yourself tiny. Relax your feet, roll down and rock side to side. Using this beautiful motion to smooth out any kind of Tightness that still might be hanging out in the lowest part of your body, the mid back, upper back, shoulders going the other direction. And then bringing your feet down, find your chair legs, and then you can either scoot toward your chair using your elbows or your hips, or you can actually come up. Once you're up, put your legs up on your chair. If you have an open back chair as I do, you can tuck your feet under, which works great. And then roll down, placing your hands on your belly or fanning them to the side, dropping through your shoulders. If you wish, you can cover your eyes with something. Please do make sure that you're warm enough and then when you're ready, please do close your eyes and join me in a nice deep cleansing breath. Deep inhale. Exhaling with ah. 
Again, nice deep breath. And relax. Oh. And you feel immediately how your entire body just melts into the earth. Feeling so grateful, so thankful for having had this expression on this day. Noticing how calm and open your whole being has become. There's nothing left now to be done. So without hesitation, you let yourself go. And as you do, your conscious attention dives deep, deep into the very center of your heart, where you are aware of the most profound state of peace. 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 Like the softest whisper, you become conscious of your breath flowing freely through your beautiful, healthy body, feeling calm, balanced, refreshed. You follow your breath as it ignites movement in your fingers, toes, hands and feet. Tenderly, you move your head from side to side. Taking a deep breath, you stretch your whole body, bending your knees and rolling to the side where you linger. Joining me when you're ready in a comfortable seated position, hands on your legs, palms skyward. Index fingers to the thumbs, tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Relax your scalp, forehead, jaw, neck, and throat. 
Release your shoulder blades, collarbone, armpits, and belly. Open your heart, both front and back. And please let all your breath go. With your eyes closed, breathing only through your nose, please inhale for one, two, three, four, hold, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Rest, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Rest, one, two. Move into stillness. Paramahansa Yogananda in his spiritual diary for January 4th wrote, in the beginning of one's spiritual search, it is wise to compare various spiritual paths and teachers. But when you find the real guru destined for you, the one whose teachings can lead you to the divine goal, then restless searching should cease. As spirituality, thirsty person should not go on indefinitely seeking new wells. Rather, he should go to the best well and drink daily of its living waters. Wonderful wise words to accompany you on this day wherever you may go. And I know through them, your life will be blessed. Hands in front of your heart, thumbs touch the heart, Fingers extend toward one another and let us share three ohms. Nice deep breath. Oh, oh. Shanti, shanti, shanti. May peace be yours now and always. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be well, be safe, be kind. Much love to you.